let's, let's help you with your social media. I get so many people. Like, let me give you an example. I'm on social media right now, right? <clears throat> A lot of people out there, they just don't understand that the system even exists. They don't even think about the system even being there. So they just really are not enlightened when it comes to how these things move. Let me give an example. If you're a celebrity out there, if you're a rapper or you are or you have or you've been on the system or the panel for a while, 90% of those people will not go live. They will not go live because they don't have the ability or the access. Um, <clears throat> they don't have the access to boost and perform their own situations. They need an agent. You you are your own agent. You don't need an agent once you have the system that the agent has. Like that's that's the whole thing. Like if the agent already has it, he can lie to you any at any moment and say, "Oh, I got you. I'll help you out. I'll do this. I'll boost you." And it's like it's it's a system. So what we'll do is I'll show you the system because I want you to have it. Of course. Mm. I thought dogs were supposed to see. So as you can see, I started with four followers, right? I started with four. The ego, the normal people, because imagine, I do have three world records. I have been on national television shows all over the world. So, so you explain to me why the number's not up there. There's two options. Ego or business, Right? So the ego will not allow you to get in my live feed with two or three people because then you might think that I'm focused on you. You're focused on me, right? That's all personal. Business-wise says that I put 40 cents on the system that gets this to say 50, 60, 70, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000. Who gives a shit? I, and, that's, and that's business. When it comes to business, I grab the water bottle. I screenshot the camera, I send it to the brand and say, hey, sorry you couldn't get in my live feed today, but I had a whole live feed and I had this many people in my live feed, so if you got any sales today, you're welcome. That is marketing 101. So, you don't go live, I know you don't go live, you don't go live because you can't move the number. You can't move the number because it's full of ego. You can't move the number because you don't have the system. You can't move the number because no one told you the system, which is fine. That's okay. But I'm enlightening you. So ignorance is not bliss when it comes to online. I go into people's feeds all day long and boost them up to whatever and watch them sit up straight. I watch them start talking about things that are valuable. It's like, okay, but then you got you turned on live and you were slumped over in your house with one follower shit because that's just what you expect. It's energy. It's all energy. And when it comes to all this, it's online. It's all marketing. Whoever has the biggest number, you listen to. If I told you to go run, if I told you to go eat salad, if I told you to go do all that, you'd go do it. You'd go do it. You'd think 49 other people are going to go do it too. You guys have to understand marketing. I do this every single day. I talk to people when it, with brands, businesses like listen, if someone is telling you that there is an algorithm, you have to do this, you have to do that. They're just talking about something basic at like a level when you first started Instagram, maybe in 2014. That's the thought, right? The thought is that's so past that thought. Like, right? If someone's saying, thinking that they're enlightening you or helping you by telling you to keep posting, or they're no, they're not. They're not actually getting you the information that you actually need. They're the ones that have got the information and they can just give you little little pennies and little things here and there and just be like, oh yeah, you're not doing that. You should try that. You should try that. It's like, you are forever going to be in this chase. How long have you been in this chase? How long has the chase been going? It's been going for a long time, right? So like, if you can't convince me why your numbers aren't moving, because you're not going to be able to tell me it's your content. It's not your content. It's not my content. I got 50,000 original moves. It ain't my content. I got, I fucking sit down and I look like this. You can, it's, it's not my content. So it's not about your content. That's personal. Personally, if you ain't got it like that and you ain't got the information, you'll never grow. You'll never grow. What's up? You want in, Nardo?
You want in? Up. You want in? Yeah, you want in. If you don't got the information, he'll never grow. It doesn't matter how many check marks you buy. It doesn't. None of that matters. None of that matters because the check mark doesn't matter if you don't have the followers. You can buy the check marks all fucking day long. That doesn't matter. You want to get the invite. This is bigger than racism. This is true equality. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. We're going to say, okay, shit, I just so happen to have a CD. Somebody slang me a CD fucking today. I cannot believe somebody's still doing this shit, but we're not going to go there. All right, we're going to say that this is a CD and this is a CD. Let's go all the way back to being a human being. This is a person. This is a person. In society, who is deemed more important? How do we deem somebody more important? How do we deem I want to listen to this person over I want to listen to this person? How are we doing it in society? We're doing it with a number, which means if this person has 10,000 followers and this person has 10,000 followers, now we are going to listen to them equally and say, who do we think is better? If this person has 100,000 followers and this person has 10,000 followers, this person could be absolutely dog shit. And they're going to get listened to. I know, not the CD pushing in 2023. I don't know. This is, some, this is some bold shit. Like, I give it up to this person that is still slanging these motherfucking CDs on the original. Ver this CD? This CD came out when I was in high school, I think. Like, this was the original CDs. Like, this shit might be worth money on eBay. I don't need, I don't know who this person is, but I might have to keep this shit forever because this shit right here. So let me give you an example. Just off of this. A lot, they just added me into this. I don't I hate when they do this. Somebody just hit me up with a verified engagement group. I said yes. 98% of the people in that group are fucking rappers. It's hilarious watching each rapper saying, I got the hot shit, follow me, follow. It's like, what the fuck? You guys are all the same. You're all rappers. You're all the same. The only thing that society sees you, the difference of somebody else, is the number. They don't know who you are. They don't know how you went through the hood. They don't know you were on welfare. They don't know you didn't have a mama. They don't never, they don't know, and they never will, and they don't care. They don't expect to care. Please don't wake up in the morning and say, damn, 8 billion people need to care about my story. Fuck no. Absolutely not. Yeah, cars don't even come with CD players no more. You can, <laughs> oh man, I can't even, <laughs> this shit makes me go, this shit drives me nuts, bro, like. I'm just thinking like, you know, back in the day, we used to have the, the cars that didn't have the CD player. You could put the cassette tape in with the wire out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and put it into your CD player, your real CD player. Plug that shit into the cassette. Yeah, them motherfuckers don't know. So, knock off with the racism shit. Knock all that shit off. Because in 80% of the dudes inside that chat are black. And I help every single one of y'all. So, I'm white. You're black. So, with racism, fuck all that. Bump that. The difference is, is I have a number... And you don't. And if you do have a number, it's not high enough. Just like me. Eight books, three world records, national television shows. I train professional athletes. 340,000 followers like a big titty bitch on there selling her OnlyFans. Absolutely not. Not happening. Which means society can look at me and say, he's not doing something right. You're damn right. For 12 years, I took the shit way too personal. Now it's not personal anymore. It's business. Eight billion people. Let's be equal. You have a book. I have a book. How do we get on the same stage? We can't. You're not going to invite me. I'm not going to invite you. And if you got the followers up, you're not going to invite me. You got to reach down and pick me up. You're not doing that. How many people are reaching around picking you up? Right? So it's like, there's no argument here. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm trying to let you. I'm trying to enlighten you. I'm 33, 4 years old. I just turned 34 three days ago. I'm, in, I'm retired. I, got sh I ain't got shit to do. I have nothing to do. I'm going for the humanitarian award. I'm trying to change nations. Like your workouts, your, it's all personal. Everything you do all day long is personal. Unless you literally help somebody without a single thought of something getting in return. You're living a really personal life. When you go to the gym and you lift, how's that working me? How's that helping me? You going to the gym and lifting ain't helping me. That ain't doing shit to me. At all. So don't go around saying, oh yeah, I'm not the cause of the world being fucked up. Yes, you are. Yes, the fuck you are. 
if you go into the gym and you're not correcting people, you're you're adding to the big ass problem. Like when I say, damn, there's a, there's a people in the gym, they, they they're a problem. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Hell the fuck yeah. Absolutely. You're not allowed to just walk around this planet without the rules. Every action that you do affects somebody else. Everybody. So every time you don't listen and you're trying to help yourself to help your friends and your family, you're lying to yourself. And you're looking at them and you're lying to them. You don't know how to help them. You don't know how to help yourself. You are not going to help other people. You're stuck in a survival selfish mode. That Trust me, I say it all day long. Every time you make a post... And you are not understanding business. It's not as many posts. As it, you can post a thousand posts today. I'm going to say do better. Make it better. Post faster. What's your timing? You about to just take all that blame because you don't want to learn the system? You're going to take all that blame. I used to post six times a day just like you. Six times a day just like you. Hella personal. Just like you. Yeah, you'll get lucky if you get one post from me every five months now. Why? Because Instagram is personal. None of y'all pay my bill nor suck my dick, which means why the fuck do I got to wake up and say I, I got to show them what I'm doing? There's fucking people dying out there. There's fucking people dying outside your house. No one gives a fuck about what you're posting. If you're posting something on social media, you better be seeking branding Checks, collaborations, stocks, shares. Hope to God you don't go and post something and say, I can't wait for them to like this. I hope they like this. You Famous people got likes turned off. Go look at Floyd, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, TMZ. The likes are off. We're not paying money for likes. Floyd Mayweather, 26 million followers he drops a post no likes we look at the photo and say 26 million people like it we don't need to see 500 people like it Floyd does not post a post to say I can't wait to see how many people like it it's off so if you're gonna keep doing the same shit that these broke people are fucking doing fine but I'm telling you I spent 12 years, and I'm telling you, you will not send me a single song, a single video of me saying, wow, that's the one. You're viral. Post that. No, you're not getting it. There is no secret burpee. There is no special tomato. Somebody lied to y'all. My quote, you can only lie to someone who doesn't know the truth. Start seeking knowledge. Start seeking information. It doesn't matter what brand you are. It doesn't matter what you're selling. It doesn't matter who you are. There's 8 billion people. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. That's what I'm telling people. Humble yourself. And we're let's, and help me humble the people with these numbers. Help me humble them. That's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to humble, humble YG, Meek Mill. So I'm in that group. Imagine I'm in the group chat with 95% of rappers. And I bet y'all looking up to Meek Mill, YG, all these rappers, they, you are better than them. Y'all are better than them. Y'all are better than Nicki Minaj. You're, you're better than them. You will never get that chance to be better than them because you're taking this shit too personal. It's not personal. It's not. Ma'am, people don't even know your birthday, your last name. They're not sending you Christmas cards. That's the personal shit you can take personal. Other than that, it's not personal. You need to say... You need to get dig deep and say, why are they up there? If I'm better than them, why am I listening to them? What's the difference? You're a human. I'm a human. That's not the difference. What's the difference? It's the fucking number. The number is the difference. And guess what makes the ultimate difference? Is them knowing that you can mess with the numbers. This fucking I, I, Ashi Habiba, digital marketer, I would love for him to contact me because I, I'm going to call out all you fucking marketing people. All of you marketing people are filthy, greedy, greedy, greedy. I'm going to tell you why. I get messages every single day for 10,000 followers cost $33. 10,000 followers cost $1.10, which makes they're making $28.90 from you. They're making that off of you. 
It only costs a dollar and ten cents for the thirty thousand followers that they're sending you. So you, you it, ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is fucking dumb. Like ignorance will cost you time, energy, and effort. It will cost you your life. You can't get back. Look, this clock that someone created, this calendar someone created. You gotta deal with that shit. In your mind, you want to get away from that shit? Unlock yourself. Who gives a fuck if it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, fucking Friday? They created Taco Tuesday to get your ass. You know when Tuesday is. And I know you know when Sunday is. I know you know when Monday is. And I know you know what Friday is. And I know you know they created Hump Day for Wednesday. Throwback for Thursday. So your whole fucking week is delegated. It's delegated. You already know what you're doing. Tomorrow's Hump Day. Half you bitches got an ass photo ready for tomorrow. You, so if, if you're choosing your Halloween costume right now, you're fucking weird. You are weird. There is so much shit to do. So much crazy shit to do. You might not make it to Halloween. You not trying then. If you're preparing for Halloween, yo ass is chilling at home watching Netflix. I expect nothing less from you. If you're talking about Halloween costumes, you are on fucking Timu, Wish app. Fucking life, I'm tired. I'm hungry. What are we eating? That's what I believe. I believe that's you. Dead ass, that's you. For real. Christmas. Y'all already looking for Christmas gifts? Damn, you, th- listen. Because if you're looking for Christmas gifts, you gotta pay for that shit, right? Because you don't know marketing, right? Ah, ah, fuck. I've given out fucking so much shit because, yeah, I, I'm the one give. I give Christmas gifts now. I give $1,000 Christmas gifts now. Right? I'm not buying shit. I went from... You having to buy it? No, no, let's go. Let's go on top of that for free. Let's go on top of that. To, I'm going to give some shit away. I like that shit. This is a boss shit to me. This is some leadership to me. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, if you haven't seen this yet, this says paid partnership by who? By who? Walmart. You can't put that shit on the top of your motherfucking live feed. Hell the fuck you can't. Go try that shit. I've been sponsored from Walmart for over six years. Walmart, yeah, the Walmart you shop at. Everything you've ever touched in Walmart that comes to fitness, I've created everything you can even imagine on that equipment. You'll ne- you if you touch any of that equipment, I know exactly what level you are. I know exactly how far you're gonna get with health and wellness. Don't worry, my books will be in Walmart very soon. Don't even worry about that. This shit ain't personal. That's personal. They comfortable, bro. Yeah, no, it's it's it, it's. It is what it is. I just, I got to release this to people because I'm in this group chat now with these verified rappers. And I'm telling you, 900 followers. This guy's about to pod, he wants to go do a podcast with me. And he got like a thousand followers or 2,000 followers. And he got this podcast. And I bet he sits up and says, man, I want to probably be a Joe Rogan one day. Or I want to, no, 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 Society says, you just started, man. You just started. And to be honest, the fact that he went into the group chat and said, I would love to put any of y'all on the podcast. Damn, now I know, now I know where you're at. You think I want to go on this podcast now? You're out of your fucking mind. The information I have, I'm a fucking asset. The fuck? I always got to get paid to go on your shit now. Like, that's where I'm at. You're not about to just get the time for free no more. I can give you the time right here. I don't need your podcast. I got my own podcast. This is the podcast. I can. What I'm going to tell you is exactly what I can tell everybody sitting right here. So you come in my podcast. You come in my shit. I don't need to go on your podcast so we can try to remember. You can only let us someone who doesn't know the truth. Why do you want me on your podcast? I know why you want me on your podcast because I got 400,000 followers. So you see, you don't know who the fuck I am. I don't even like you. I looked at your profile. I think it's bullshit. I think it's trash. I think that I can go on and on and on of what I truly feel personal, right? You want business one-on-one? Get on a podcast? You know how many times I've denied some shit because it does not align with who the fuck I am? I'm not changing. I'm not changing it up. And now that I got this information, I'm taking my fucking personal life and I am so... I am fucking putting a supercharger on the business aspect. I do my personal life. I'm so fucking embedded who I am. I'll fucking look like this the way till I fucking die. I don't take no BCAs, no fucking vitamin C. Fuck your fish oil. Fuck your greens and fucking proteins. Fuck your goddamn shakes, smoothies. Fuck everything that's inside your fucking kitchen. I promise you still can't look like this. And you got everything in your fucking kitchen. What it, so who is it? It's me. Okay, yeah. It's my DNA. Then fuck it then. I'm a superhuman being with dope ass DNA. Fine, cool. Then you will address me as that. Superhuman then. <laughs> because whatever you're taking, it's slowing you the fuck down. 
I don't take none of that shit, and I, I don't really see too many people, I fucking hand send on these motherfucking lights, I don't give a fuck what you think, I've already done it, I've, I will do it, I can do it, the ability of, capability of, the ability to learn, the capability to do, is important, you are a human being, stop letting people get it twisted, you ain't no better than me, I'm no better than you, if I can do it, so can you, whatever you do, best believe, I believe I can do everything that you do, and if not fucking 90% of the world, I could do it better. I've been training for that. I've been focused for that. I've been learning for that. So just understand, just understand that don't feel like you're the fucking epitome when there's motherfuckers out there that are grinding, waiting to show the fuck up wherever you're at. Understand business and marketing. It doesn't matter how many times you post. It doesn't matter if you pay somebody to post. It doesn't matter if you pay someone to create the content. It doesn't matter if you stay up all night creating the content. It doesn't matter if you paid money for the content. That shit is irrelevant. Social media is free. You will not get rich off a free platform. You should not be trying to get rich off a of free social media. What you should be doing is boosting your numbers, going on the 9,000 different influencer apps, and they will value. Same thing with K Faze. That's my friend, right? Kyle, it's my friend. I went to high school with him, and his, his, his brother has a successful. Milkshake shake wasted on they were on freaking big time show shark tank like he's doing it they're doing it his brother's doing big fucking things when it comes to the food industry i'm waiting for kyle to get on the fucking panel put a hundred thousand followers on his fucking haircut and be a celebrity barber it takes two fucking seconds kyle i watch you every day and i'm just thinking it doesn't matter how many haircuts you show me it doesn't matter how many how good your fate is. It doesn't matter. Society says you are not successful if those numbers are not going up. It doesn't matter. I could love your fucking haircut. Every you could have the best haircut in the fucking city. You can't even t you can't even say that out loud. You can't even say I'm the best barber in the city. Go outside, light the sign on fire and pull it up. Motherfuckers are going to drive by you and say who the fuck is that guy? K Fades, let me look him up. 500 followers, that guy's fucking tripping. That sucks. Y'all losing the sale. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling y'all, y'all, you're even the rappers, y'all blowing your load. I would never drop a new song when I'll put in 100,000 fucking views behind that bitch and then sharing that motherfucker around. Then you get past the ego, you get past all that. But if you're gonna drop a song and think you're gonna share it to a couple motherfuckers and think they're gonna share it to a couple motherfuckers, yeah, you get 15 fucking views and likes. That is not success. That could be your level of success, but mm, not up here. Fuck no. You All them yachts you share, all them Lambos you fucking see, you ain't getting that motherfucker. That's not how it works. You won't even be invited to sit in that motherfucker. That's the difference. You want to do a music video and have a mansion for free and have a Lamborghini for free? You not contacting any brand or business to say, hi, I'm a rapper. I need to borrow your Lambo and your mansion for my music video. They're going to say, oh yeah, who are you? They're going to be like, you're out of your fucking mind, dude. You're a liability and you're going to fucking crash the Lambo. You're going to fucking ruin the house. Let's do the second approach. You have a million followers and you fucking ask the Lambo, can you put it in your music video? Because all your music videos get 500,000 views or more. They're going to give you a full ticket gas. That's the difference. That's the difference. So I'm coming from the white side, letting you know. You are not going to be able to walk around and do everything you want, which you can or should be able to do without that number. And until you convince yourself... That all your celebrity friends, everybody, Yeezy, I don't give a fuck who you name, McGregor, I don't care who you name, it does not matter, Joe Rogan, I know, it does not matter, go look, go see right now, go check it out, like, do not take my word for, for the absolute, go and do your own research and then bring your ass back when you want to know how to do it and not go broke, because I'm going to tell you something right now, if that marketing is is a real job. I don't need your motherfucking money. Therefore, I can I can do it for free. You not meeting. You gonna meet less than fucking two percent of the motherfuckers that are gonna help you out for free. Why? Because you're gonna dip the fuck out and do your own life, and you ain't you ain't paying nothing back. A lot of you motherfuckers do not pay back, and not even a simple thank you. So why would someone reach down and help you? Who are you? You get it? Like that's why you're not being picked up. People ruin that. Without the simple thank yous or giving back just a little bit, you y'all people society has ruined good deeds, ruined it. 
ruined it. So I just want to let you know, be careful when you're out there spending money because you're going to spend a shit ton of money. A shit ton. Like, like I gave you the example earlier. The Indian guys, they charge 30, they charge 33, well, fuck, how much do they charge? $30, no, $33 for 10,000 followers. That is what they usually charge. I'm letting you know, 10,000 followers is a dollar and 10 cents. So I want you to know that. Do not lose that fucking thought. Don't lose that fucking thought in your head. Because it is happening. It's real. I don't give a fuck if you want to think it's scam or not. It doesn't matter. This system has been there way before you and will be there way after you. So it does not matter. Remember, I am not trying to convince you of shit. I don't care. Do whatever you want. But I'm going to tell you something right now. I know how far you're going when it comes to social media by just looking at your number. It does not matter if you are the best at what the fuck you do. You could be. You probably are the best. And it's unfortunate that you'll never be considered the best. How about that? How about that? Hmm? How about that? Put that shit in your fucking pipe and smoke it. Mm-hmm. 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 Wait, I'm waiting for a motherfucker to come in here and tell me to chill out. I fucking wish you would. Now that the number's up there, you can't say shit, huh? When I had three people in there, you could say chill out. Now you you see it's marketing. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, by the way, so don't act like th Threads is not there. Threads lasted less than a week. Threads lasted l less than a week. Threads was real. It's not anymore. Threads is one of the fakest fucking things ever. Oh my god, Threads is so cheap. Threads is so cheap, guys. Threads is damn near just as cheap as Instagram. 53 cents per a thousand for for I might as well just boost my my threads up to be honest I might as well might as well just fucking make it all kosher 300,000 followers on threads is $140 Man, I know y'all just making I know y'all making money. I know y'all making money at your jobs and shit and shit I know if y'all had an option and that's the thing It's not if you if you want to or not. It doesn't matter. Everyone's different if you had the option, would you live different with 100,000 followers on your profile, 500,000, 1 million? Would your life be different? Would you, would you be different? Would the conversations be different? That's what you have to ask yourself. I'm saying 90% of you guys would. 98% of the brands would, for sure. If you went from 500 followers as a brand to 500,000 followers, I promise you the next fucking convention that you go to, you're gonna be a fucking loud mouth like a motherfucker. You are absolutely gonna be like, yo, bitch, I don't know if you fucking see me or not, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna shut the fuck up and you're not gonna say nothing. You know why? Because you hired a marketing agent and that's real. You're not doing nothing wrong. You're not doing nothing wrong by hiring a marketing agent. There's nothing wrong with that. All of the big time greats and celebrities have a marketing agent. Mike Tyson and all them are not fucking with their Instagram. You think they care? No. No, 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 no. The checks are being cut regardless. Regardless. The numbers are there. They don't start... You only have conversations with people when the numbers are not there. When the numbers are there, they expect payments, baby. Oh, the, they expect you to pay you. They're not... 500,000, a million... Five, like, are you kidding me? Like, put 500,000 people in front of your house right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know a professional sports stadium... Is only 30,000 30, people. A complete stadium is only 30,000 people. Just think about this. A complete football stadium. Full. 30,000 people. You in the middle. 500,000 people? How many fucking stadiums are you filling up to a brand? And you think you're fucking 5,000 followers? There's 5,000 fucking followers in this elementary school. When you have 5,000 followers, you got one elementary school. You're, that's, your, that's your network. Your network is an ele, elementary... I'm going to Google this shit. Less than elementary school. Like 5,000 followers is out of 8 billion people. 8 billion people? You want 5,000? And you, you're somebody? Whoa. No, sorry, you're not nobody to nobody. 
millions. The Rock has 426 million followers. Are you not even close to as important as The Rock? He's a person. Society has deemed him. He's a person. Just like me and you. Me and you. That's it. There's only one difference here. The difference is the number. That is the only difference. The number. If you're an actor and you want to act just like The Rock, you get your numbers up and now you might can, you probably could contact the fucking rock. You get 100 million followers and you contact the rock. I bet you get a message before any other person that you know. You 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 are more qualified for the message back than someone pouring their fucking heart out fucking when he decides to randomly go on the internet and fucking help somebody with a random fucking problem. Like that's like fucking hitting the lottery. Like that's ridiculous. Because they're not on the internet like that. They're not on their Instagrams like that. So if they come across something, it's from something from something. Anyways, it's exhausting trying to get you guys the right information, to be honest. So, start listening, man. Start taking this shit more business-wise and personal. Personally, you got to rap. You got to do art. You got to do this. But come on, man. This is a business. This is a business. It's not personal. You know what I'm saying? It's a business, so... Get with the business.